Hi, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to post grades in Infinite Campus. Okay, so it's the end of the quarter and you need to post grades. How do you do that in Infinite Campus? Well, there are a couple different ways that you can do this, and I'm going to show you probably the most common way, and that's from this screen where you're in your grade book and you're looking at your students' grades. Maybe you're finalizing some scores that you need to put in there for the quarter, and now you're ready to post grades. So if you go over here to this word post right here, you'll see that it's clickable. And if I click that, what happens is a box will pop up with the student names and just verify that this information is correct. And then you click OK at the bottom. After you've done that, you'll see it says posted here. And now this is the actual report card grade that will show up and the percentage right here. If you're missing this area and you don't see the posted area, it could be that you need to click this because this can expand and contract right here. So if I click this grade totals right here, then I'll see posted. Or if this slider at the bottom is moved over too far, you might not see that. So just keep that in mind that you might have to slide this over at the bottom to be able to see this section. Once those grades have been posted, now you can leave some comments. To add a comment, you're gonna click the CC right here, and a list will pop up, and then you can click on one of the comments and click save. Now you should see that report card comment pop up right here in the box for that student. To make sure that those posted grades and comments actually show up on the report card, you have to click save. That's an important step. If for some reason your computer shuts off and you didn't click save beforehand, there's a good chance that you're going to lose those posted grades and comments. Also, if you try to click away from here or click the back arrow, you'll get a message that says changes you made may not be saved. Keep in mind that that save is the final step that you need to complete. I'll show you one more way that you can post grades. If you go over here to instruction and click this, and I'm on the new look, and I go over here to post grades under classroom administration, you're going to get a little bit different screen here. So you might be wondering what is the difference between this and the other posting of grades. The reason that you might want to choose this one is it allows you to select multiple classes. So if I click multi post grades here, I can actually select not only the, the one section of the one class, I can pick all of my different sections of classes. Once you have all of your classes highlighted, you can click Next. The report card comments you're still going to have to add individually. If there's a blanket comment that you want to add for a class, you could do that at this screen. Most teachers will be adding individual comments specific to a student. I'm going to go to the next one, click Next. So my third step here, this is where I can actually post the grades for all five classes in one shot. So I'll click Post, and I can click Close. Now that you're at this step, you can add individual comments for each student, and you can switch through to the different classes from this drop-down box right here. Important thing to note is you want to make sure you click Save so that everything is locked in when you're finished all of your comments and you know that all of the posted grades are accurate. Okay, I hope that video was helpful to you. If you have any questions, you can always email me at kbolendorf at fleetwoodasd.org. Until next time, have a great day.